Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, game director on Planet Coaster 2. And I'm Adam Woods, okay, senior executive Adam Woods. producer. Yeah. We're so excited to be showing you even... I'm so excited too. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just up to my usual mischief, as I always am. But what am I doing today on Reddit, of all things? Well, that's part of the video today, because believe it or not, if you dare to criticize Star Wars Outlaws on this forbidden platform, you'll get banned for seven days. So in preparation for me getting banned, I'm going to post my making cave vets look so beautiful in Star Wars Outlaws with my own demented AI creations. So let's post away and I wonder if by the end of this video it'll be removed. Let's have a look. Not safe for work con- are you- no! It is safe, oh my word! Today's video, folks, feels like a Billy Ocean song. Not that love really hurts without you or red light spells danger. No, I'm talking about one of the unsung heroic songs of Billy Ocean, the great solster himself. I gotta have your tenderness all to myself. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's for you, Jill Valentine, and you, Stella Blade herself, because Her voice may be almost as important to gamers as Lara's double pistols, curves and skimpy shorts. Kung Fu Hot Dog is a Kung Fu renegade cop. Now he must defeat the most evil Kung Fu master in the world. For a modern gaming audience. <laughs> For a new world of unspeakable adventures. I said, Mommy, I like the way the lady runs. Get ready for a new world of unspeakable adventures, never before shown in a motion picture. Get ready for Kung Fu Hot Dog. Snake. Snake. <laughs> now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into today's video, which will be an absolute moronic lunatic edition featuring Reddit. Well, what else were you expecting? Time to do a fart. <laughs> So courtesy of that part place and John F. Trent, Star Wars Outlaws subreddit reportedly bans users for criticizing Ubisoft's game. What an absolute shocker because Reddit folks is just as bad as Twitter. In fact, I would say Reddit is probably the worst cesspit you could actually try and inhabit and gain karma points because without good karma folks, you're not allowed to post anything related to Star Wars Outboards, which is out today, by the way. Oh yeah, I, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Look at that. That's the before and that's the after. No, no, that's the before with the rather big Roger Ramjet sized chin and the nice defined cheekbones on her left and right eyes i would have said thighs but then that would be a very odd looking woman if you ask me and oh my god absolutely hideous so reddit user ugly coyote which obviously good film as well back in the day reached out to that part place and informed us reddit star wars outlaws is banning and silencing the lambs of people who are critics of the game during early access and also deleting posts. That sounds a tad bit familiar if you know our UK government stance on making hurtful comments online. Because apparently, folks, if you're an offender of the worst kind, you can just wait your turn in the queue while people who write a few words will get jailed for three months. How does that work again? found myself victim of this myself after I got reports from other people saying they too were banned. He then speculated, 
This looks like damage control before the game officially launches this week, which is true because we already know how buggy and terrible Star Wars Outlaws is. Nobody I have seen online has said anything good to say about this game. Although, mind you, when I finished here, I might do a quick roundup of people who have praised Star Wars Outlaws. Ugly Coyote shared a screenshot indicating he was banned from the subreddit but informed that part place he was not given a reason as to why he was banned ugly coyote explained i asked them with no reply then i asked for the moderator name who banned me and was muted for seven days i wonder if this moderator has pink yellow blue purple Fouché hair. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be one of these absolute infiltrators of pop culture just getting their hands and everything and just want to strangle. Oh my goodness. So here's the actual screenshot. Reminder from the Reddit staff, if you use another account to circumvent this subreddit ban, that will be considered a violation of the content policy and can result in your account being suspended from the site as a whole. LOL, look at the results he wrote. Could be a she actually. And I'm disrespectful in what way? I, I wouldn't say anything disrespectful. I only questioned his say if something an age. Since when is this disrespectful? Tell me about it, folks. <laughs> Do you mind? This is an internal call. Oh no, the action from moderators on Reddit is not unheard of and seemingly seems to be quite commonplace. Moderators for the Assassin's Creed subreddit threaten to ban any players who post in the forum disputing developer Ubisoft's original claim that Yazke from the ghetto is a powerful African-American, sorry, he's an African samurai of historical legend. <coughs> The threat itself reads, with the reveal of Assassin's Creed Shadows, there's been an influx of certain individuals spilling into various communities. Sounds a tad dirty if you ask me. Sounds like an orgy that I wouldn't mind being a part of. Such as this subreddit and raising arguments about historical accuracy, or in this case, inaccuracy. As we are all exhausted, well, you're not the only one, sunshine, of this tedious discussion that has been endlessly talked to death, not to mention exacerbated by a recent official statement from Ubisoft, we would like to give a final reminder to those participating in these debates or mass debates as to what exactly this franchise entails and why there was never any point to these discussions to begin with outside of thinly veiled bad faith intent. Oh my god, I wish I was in the tent right now with a blonde and brunette woman with thigh-high shorts and tight t-shirts. But that only exists in a carry-on movie. Oh my gosh, these moderators sound like they have verbal diarrhea. That's what I get here. They continue, Yasuke, who is a samurai, as confirmed by multiple reputable historians. <laughs> <laughs> what, like that crazy female professor who wrote about adolescent boys and older clergymen of religion? Oh, that, that same, yeah, that re really deformed, deranged lady. This is okay. It's a video game. You are not meant to use AC as a source book for actual historical knowledge, which is absolutely dumb because Ubisoft have always prided their games as being based on historical events and sometimes facts. Oh my God. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with Star Wars Jedi Survivor. 
and the rather handsome face of Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis. Also, he played a very good Joker in Batman Gotham Titty. I know you are in pain. So here we go. Look at this. This is Tina Ivlev, who plays Merrin in Survivor. I mean, look, I mean, I'm not a big fan, okay, of the short-haired version right here. You'll understand if you've played the game why I'm saying this. I mean, look at her. She's a beautiful lady. She's got long blonde hair. Just the type I like, baby. Thank you very much. But this is not Oh, you. she was in Dead it's Rising 3. Years. Now, you see, that's a better character model. She's got longer hair right there. It's just a bit tied in a bit of a bunch, right? But honestly, why do video game developers like to degrade women in this way? They start off with the long flowing hair and then suddenly they have to cut it short to look like the dude. And then you're sitting there thinking, what's going on? And apparently this character is meant to be pansexual. Um, I don't think Respawn actually confirmed that, but it's Awaken just ridiculous that I'm making up ideologies I'm for a me. fictional video game character. I wish to fight by your side. And you see, she's got a bit of titty right there, but again, it's a Star Wars project, so I guess, you know, you can't really be showing that kind of stuff. Unlike the Acolyte, where at the end, Amanda Stenberg's lover takes his clothes off and dives into the water. Good grief. I mean, if that was a spoof, I would think it would be absolutely hysterical. But guess what? It's not a spoof, folks. It's reality. Night Sisters and Jedi do not travel together, but yeah that's a good character i mean it's uh, almost a, it's actually a one-to-one -one likeness because again it was done with absolute breathtaking mo capture but then again for some reason when it came to ubisoft their their actual software and their hardware components failed when trying to capture humbly gonzalez's beautiful face i mean it's a crime folks against humanity and i do hope that miss gonzalez does actually sue ubisoft because they absolutely deserve what's coming to them on a cold plate from hell and on that one ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video today you know what i'm not even going to sign off with my usual tail end greeting i'll leave it up to my other silly version of me to do that on my behalf but on that one folks see you later Well, ladies and gentlemen, I find myself stuck in a very precarious situation because right here in front of me, I've got Inspector Lee and Detective Carter from the Rush Hour films who appear to be fleeing in terror after watching the god-awful lecture from Sachi Schmid Hori, the woman behind idolizing young men if you're a dirty priest or a rabbi because let's face it folks we've got to be diverse in 2024 me i'd rather be idolizing these idols instead oh gosh gentlemen gentlemen hello 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 let's put the echo on hello <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Can you not see what's standing in front of me? A biological, absolutely godtastic, fantastic. Oh my! I can't even. The the words have lost me, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what to do with myself. To quote Dusty Springfield. But on that one, if you enjoyed this video today, then stay tuned for the next round of absolute buffoonery from yours truly. And maybe these two, if they snap out of it.